The Financial Transparency Coalition has been working towards greater uh, transparency of company ownership for several reasons, but one very important reason is that we find in our research that more and more companies with hidden ownership are used by criminals and corrupt politicians to store away uh, assets or money that they have uh, that they have gotten through criminal activities and the anonymous company serves a little bit uh, as, a, um, as a shield uh, to hide away their identity, as a, as a getaway car, if you will, uh, in a bank robbery. We have always been arguing that it's very important to have information on who owns or controls companies in the public domain and one very straightforward option to make that information uh, readily available on public record is through uh, registers, uh, centralized registers uh, kept by governments in which they list all the owners and uh, uh, controllers of companies. Uh, within the network uh, that the FTC or the Financial Transparency Coalition represents, uh, groups have different ways of using the data. But one way of thinking about this data is uh, it serves uh, a lot of um, uh, purposes for investigator journalists. So you could think of our work a little bit as the work of investigator journalists. They research certain cases uh, and that ownership information is very important to uh, further the research. Another way is, of course, if you have, for instance, a list of BART directors or other uh, wanted criminals, you could cross-reference such a, a list with, uh, with people that uh, you, you want to find out more about with the available, available data, uh, for instance, stemming from uh, a beneficial ownership register. Uh, the European Union, uh, in the meantime, has also uh, adopted a new set of rules uh, in the so-called Anti-Money Laundering Directive and all 28 EU member states will set up uh, centralized registers of beneficial ownership. The remaining question is whether these registers will be fully public, like the one that is envisaged in the United Kingdom, or whether uh, these registers will have hurdles for public access. And with hurdles I mean they might install um, um, uh, something that is called a legitimate interest uh, uh, requirement, meaning that any person or organization that is not an authority uh, and that wants to have access to this data would have to argue why he or she has a legitimate interest. We think that's not a good, uh, a good system, it will be very costly, it will be very bureaucratic and this information has a very important public interest aspect and therefore it should be readily available on a public record, uh, preferably in an open data format so that people can uh, use it, can download the data, can sort the data, search it uh, on, a, on a, a, a personal computer at home.